Hi, in this video I'm going to start working through the Oxford Matt paper from 2018, not just for Oxford but also for admissions to Imperial College and to Warwick University. As I've done with previous year's videos, I'm going to put these uh, all into a playlist and for this one I'm going to do each question one video at a time. But just before we get on to the first question, I want to show you something else I've been working on that I think will be really interesting for people that are looking at this video, which is the uh, Mathsaurus Amazon page. So what I've put together here is a collection of the textbooks from A-level official books, but most importantly, um, some just books that I've really enjoyed, the sort of things you might think of for wider reading for your applications. Um, I've written some of them as gift ideas. Some of my interests uh, are more along the lines of probability, economics, um, and, and applications of maths in that area, so there's a bit of a focus in the, that direction, but some other things as well. Uh, and in particular, there's one section that if you're watching this video uh, will be quite interesting to you, which is this bit from A-level to undergraduate maths, and I've put in here a selection of videos that from my experience of teaching uh, A-level maths and advising a lot of students on university entrance, I think are really excellent books for A-level further mathematicians in particular, thinking of uh, maths at university uh, as sort of, they've been written as bridging books. I'm going to keep adding to this as I remember uh, things that I found useful and I find more, in particular this one here, Towards Higher Mathematics, written by Richard Earle, who is a professor at Oxford University, who's been in charge of undergraduate admissions there for many years from when I was an undergraduate in Oxford, and I worked with him on a teaching course and on summer schools, and he's a, he's a really great great guy and a brilliant mathematician and has been working on this book uh, for a long time and really excellent. You know, this is uh, sort of stuff that if you've worked through this, you're at a huge advantage. Um, another one here, an introduction to analysis, also very good. Uh, There's a great introduction, bridging A-level to undergraduate sort of probability and random variables and lots of other things in here as well. So anyway, I wanted to show that to you. I'll put a link in the description. Um, you can see the URL here as well. Uh, but um, that's there, as I say, I'll keep, keep adding to that. So if, and if you've got some books that you found really useful, perhaps you're looking back at this or you're, you're reading something at the moment that you think is useful, put it in the comments. Uh, maybe I'll add it to this page as well, and, uh, and uh, that'll be useful for, for everyone. Okay, anyway, uh, on with the paper, and uh, we'll start with uh, the short answer questions. I'm going to assume you know the format of this paper. Uh, I've talked about it in previous years, uh, videos. So this time I'm just going to get on with it and have a go at the questions one at a time. So we start here. Uh, the first one says the area of the region bounded by the curve y equals the square root of x and the line y equals x minus 2 and the x-axis uh, equals one of these things. So, uh, I mean, when you're confronted with something to do with uh, graphs like this, I mean, it's really uh, going to be useful to, for us to just try and do a, a quick sketch of these uh, so we can think about the region we're looking at. Uh, y equals the square root of x. Uh, I can't do these as well as I can on real paper, but here we go, it looks something like that. Um, you know, it's like the top half of uh, y equals x squared rotated, as hopefully you know. And uh, the line y equals x minus 2, so a straight line with gradient 1 and y intercept minus 2, so it's going to go through minus 2 here and 2 here, and then it's going to be a straight line that looks like this. So we should be able to sketch that pretty quickly. And uh, we want the area of the region bounded by these curves and the x-axis, so I want this area here. And uh, you know the result from A-level that to uh, integrate, if I integrate the difference of two functions, it will give me the area between the curves here. Uh, so that's exactly what I want to do. I want to uh, to integrate here uh, the upper curve, the square root of x minus the lower one, which is going to be x minus 2 dx. And my limits will go from 0 here to the point where they intersect. Fairly easy to work out or just guess and check that this is uh, this works for, when you put x equals 4 in here, I get uh, y equals square root of 4 is 2, and y equals 4 minus 2, which is 2 on this one, so this is the point uh, with uh, x coordinate 4, and uh, y coordinate 2. So I want to integrate this between 0 and 4, and what that will give me is not exactly the area we want, but it'll give me uh, this shaded area and the area of this 
red triangle here because it'll give me the whole area between those two curves, between those points. Um, but we can subtract that off easily at the end because it's just a triangle. Uh, so let's write uh, square root of x as x to the half. So I've got x to the half minus x plus 2dx. Uh, we're going to integrate this then term by term. So x to the half, increase the power by 1 to get x to the 3 over 2 and divide by the power. So 2 thirds minus x squared over 2 plus 2x. And we're integrating that uh, between 0 and 4. Obviously, we just get 0 for the zeros here. So I've just got to plug 4 in. So 2 thirds times 4 to the 3 over 2. So that's the square root of 4 cubed minus 16 over 2 uh, plus 8. So I've got here minus 8 plus 8. So they cancel out. So I've just got 2 thirds times the square root of 4 cubed. So 2 thirds times 8, which is 16 over 3, uh, which they've given as one of the answers here. Uh, you know, so they, they put the obvious wrong answers in here as well, because this answer say, gives us this whole area. And now I've got to think about the uh, the red triangle here. And this is just a triangle half base times height. So its area is 1 half times base times height is 2 times 2. So it's just got uh, area 2. So for my final answer here, I need 16 over 3 minus 2, so minus 6 over 3, and that gives us 10 thirds. That's also an answer, and that's the correct one. So that's uh, 1a. Hopefully you got that one right. Let me know if there's anything uh, you're not sure about in the comments, and watch out for the next video.